Well, good morning, Facebook friends, and anybody else who eventually sees this video. Um, I wanted to do this this morning as a follow-up to my post from last night announcing my GoFundMe effort to uh, raise money to uh, cover some of the production costs for the new political radio show that I'm going to be launching on July 20th at KAZM Mellow Mountain Radio out of Sedona uh, that is going to be called The Patriotic Progressive. Um, I reached the point where I just felt given everything going on in the political climate and since I had the ability to do a show, since I already have one called Sedona Life as many as you know, um, I needed to do this now. Um, not only to rouse the troops and to talk about the issues and to put some perspective on what it actually means to be a patriotic progressive in this climate, uh, um, a concept that is demonized by the right along with being a Democrat, a liberal, and uh, being woke, um, so I had to do this, and the reason why I'm doing the GoFundMe, as I mentioned in the text of the GoFundMe post, is that just like, <laughs> and my cabaret friends on Facebook will relate to this, just like in cabaret or uh, people that want to produce CDs of their music, um, and also in the publishing realm, people that do self-publishing to get their thoughts and their books out there, um, a lot of this stuff has become pay to play. Now, I'm not saying that as a pejorative. Um, I'm really pleased that uh, the owner of Mellow Mountain Radio is giving me the opportunity to do this show, which will be on Saturday mornings at 8 to 9 o'clock. Pacific Standard Time. Of course, that's until Daylight Savings Time, which they don't follow in Arizona. So in New York or on the East Coast, you'll be able to hear the show the first few months um, from 11 to 12, and then I guess 10 to 11. Anyway, I digress. Um, by the way, uh, I hope you like my Arizona Diamondbacks cap. Um, I want to assure my friends who know me well about my baseball uh, fandom that I am still a diehard Mets fan, but I just think this hat's really cool with the little diamond back and the teal. Anyway, again, I digress. I have a tendency to do that. But back to what this video is about. So I really hope that uh, I can try to raise some funds to defray some of the production costs for doing the show. Um, and I want to assure everybody that even if you live outside of the Sedona Valley Verde area, you will still be able to hear the show live streamed on the Mellow Mountain Radio website, which is easy to find. They live stream all the shows. And as you know, with my Sedona Live show, I will be immediately podcasting uh, the, the show, uh, the, the Patriotic Progressive show on Apple Podcasts, YouTube, and Spotify. So you can listen to it at any time. Now, really quick, uh, just to tell you a little bit about how the show is going to be structured. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a cross between an MSNBC primetime show, a little Bill Maher, although not the both sidesism that Bill Maher it does these days, and uh, hopefully um, the best of what a talk radio show sounds like. So uh, it's not only going to be about issues that pertain to Sedona and Arizona specifically, it's also going to cover a lot of national politics, especially now. So I am going to have guests that are nationally known 
um, people that you will see on MSNBC. And I'm not going to go into any names now, but I'm casting a wide net to have people that really know their stuff about uh, progressive politics, democratic politics, and even some um, right-thinking Republican, oh, right-thinking, I don't want to use the word right in this case, but Republicans who are not on board with, with the authoritarian plans of the radical right in this country. So um, that's really the deal. Um, whatever you can donate would be great. I have a goal that it would be wonderful to reach. The goal is $5,000, which would technically cover a year's worth of shows. Um, but anything short of that, I would really appreciate, and it would be welcome. And I'm only doing it for this show, by the way. Um, my Sedona Life show, um, I get some sponsors for. I obviously contribute to that personally, but... As you can probably imagine, it's a little difficult to get businesses to sponsor any kind of political show, whether it was right-leaning or left-leaning, because they don't want to alienate any potential customers. You never know. So, um, frankly, with um, I had that issue with the Blue Wave shows that I produced in New York, where there were some performers that I could not book or get on to the cast, not because they didn't support the goals or the issues, but because uh, they didn't want to, they didn't want to alienate any potential audience members, uh, either in New York or outside if they were performing on the road. And I totally understood that. And I understand it with the businesses here. So, um, that's one of the reasons why I'm uh, looking for friends and colleagues to contribute to the show. So uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, after this video is on Facebook, uh, I'm going to post a little update with the link to the GoFundMe page. Thank uh, the contributors so far, and I did get a bunch of contributors last night who I thank sincerely. Uh, love you guys. Um, I will not post the names of the people that wanted to be anonymous. So, but I do want to thank the people that have already donated. So I'm going to be doing that with the GoFundMe link. So um, anyway, and I also have an email for this. It's, it's patrioticprogressiveusa at gmail.com. Patrioticprogressiveusa at gmail.com. Anyway, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Um, not going to talk about the whole Biden controversy right now. I'll save that for the show. But uh, folks, we have to stick together and we have to win this election. There's no other choice. Thanks and have a great day and a great week. Bye-bye.